Today we're testing dollar store knockoff candy, so let's do stuff. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. And, and Paul eat stuff. Uh. Hello again, YouTube. This today we are. No. Hello again, YouTube. My name's Paul. And I'm Stephanie. There we go. That's better. And today we are um, taste testing dollar store knockoffs. Um, we have some other dollar store videos too, you should check out our other dollar store video where we are testing dollar store life hacks. Um, so, but today we're testing dollar store knockoff candy. So what we mean by that is there's a ton of stuff at the dollar store that looks like some of the main brands we know and love, but they're really not. If you've ever been to a dollar store, you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, then you're gonna find out what I mean. So our first dollar store product isn't exactly a... Knock off so much as just their version of it. And these are gummy bears. Um, we all know and love them, but I don't think there's really any particular company that owns the uh, rights to a gummy bear one way or the other. I think it's just kind of, do you want to make a gummy bear? Yeah, make a gummy bear. So, we're going to open these up and see what the dollar store's gummy bears are like. Such a, such a yeah, that's so incredible. It's made with real fruit juice. That's something that made me buy these. These are made with real fruit juice. There's another kind of gummy bears out there that are like the less candy kind that are made with um, real fruit juice as well. And that's, and they're really good. They're really surprisingly good. So I'm curious to see what these are like made with real fruit juice. Yeah, I've added green one. <laughs> these are <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's just a platter of green ones. Oh. By the way, the, 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 it's Fruité Gamme. So there was like... Yeah. That's... <laughs> Bob in here. <laughs> here we go. Cheers. They taste old. Mm -hmm. And they taste old, not that, they, not that they're hard or anything, but they just lack flavor. Yeah. Like, they lack everything that is a gummy bear. And they're made, they're made with real fruit juice. It's kind of torn off there. I don't know if you can even see that, the lighting. But they're made with real fruit juice. But right at the bottom, something else too. Right at the bottom, it says made with artificial flavors. Yeah. So it's made with, like, some real fruit juice. Some, but I'm gathering not a whole lot. Um, and yeah, they just taste really, really bland. Really bland. I'm my, not a fan of them. No, my worst case scenario I thought was they were going to be way too sweet, but it's quite the opposite. They kind of lack all flavor. It's kind of like just eating gummy. Mm -hmm. Without flavor. Which is kind of disturbing. So I'm not a big fan of those. No. They're fat free. Real fruit juice. 21 grams of sugar. I was gonna say maybe they wouldn't be bad just to, we'll inter to entertain later. kids, but no. <laughs> don't yeah. give your kids those. Probably not. I don't know. They lack all flavor. If you like your kids, don't give them to them. Yeah, if you don't like your kids, then they're fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, then give them to them. <laughs> okay, on to our next dollar store knockoff. I'm thinking this. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is for fun. It's obviously. A Kit Kat knockoff? <laughs> yeah. Kit Kat Chunky specifically, I think. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm not really sure. And There's a bunch of Kit Kats out there. I'll give them, they didn't really try to make it look like a Kit Kat, the packaging. No. Because it's all blue and Kit Kat's all red and stuff. But the, blue and purple. The bar, blue and purple. But the bar inside, really, that really looks like Kit Kat. So let's tear this thing open and find out how it tastes. So this is what the bar looks like. Can you see that? Basically. So it's got the line in the middle, it's ready to be split in two. No. I think. Doesn't it? There's multiple. Oh no, there isn't. There isn't. There's just multiple lines. Okay. So. Never mind. Okay. Let's so it should break it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm probably not finishing anyways. No, me neither. Okay. Cheers. I'm disappointed by the crunch. Mm -hmm. There's no crunch. 
And and it tastes waxy. It does. That's what it is. It's waxy. To me. I don't know what to call that. It does taste that. kind of waxy. It does not have the crunch of a Kit Kat. It does not have the structural integrity of what. That's what I was trying to show the inside of. You bite into a Kit Kat chunky. It kind of got sections. And it kind of got some definition. This really just lacks some. Um, Any type of deliciousness. Yeah. It's very. It's got a really bland aftertaste. I see why you drink. Not bland aftertaste, but like. Yeah. It's that waxiness. It's got a really waxy aftertaste. I don't like that. That's gross. It's a product of turkey, which seems strange to me that they'd have to go all that way to make that. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I mean. No. Not really. It doesn't take the place of a Kit Kat. It's a chocolate bar, but it doesn't take the place of a Kit Kat. If you want a Kit Kat, get a Kit Kat. Get a Kit Kat. <laughs> and it's weird to me that they even make some of these direct knockoffs because chocolate isn't even really that expensive at the dollar store. No. Like a Kit Kat, I mean. Sorry, like a real name brand chocolate bar isn't even that expensive at the dollar store. A Kit Kat yeah. is like a dollar, I think, or something like that. You save like 10 cents by going knockoff. So. Um, right. I mean, chocolate bars in general aren't even that expensive. No, no, chocolate bars in general aren't even that expensive. <laughs> so why make a knockoff? I, I don't get it yeah. at all. What's your next item? Is it a chocolate bar? No. Okay. I'm going to do these. Okay. They're called sandwich cookies biscuits, or as we nicknamed them, no rios. The sandwich cookies, chocolate flavor, they're definitely, yeah, biscuit. That's what I was trying to figure out. Biscuit has to make them. Yeah. Okay. I'm not looking forward to this. No, of all of the things, this is what I'm looking forward to probably the least. Yeah, well, at least we got some. Yeah. <laughs> I figured this would be a good thing, though. Yeah. So. I am the most afraid of these. I'm just not looking forward to them at all. So, this is what they look like. They even look like an Oreo knockoff. Yeah. You can see. They added the holes, I think. Do Oreos have holes? Oh my god, do Oreos have holes? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, something else you need to see. You've seen the top. Now, what you guys don't know is that the bottom is the same cookie, but it's upside down. <laughs> so all the all there is is just top. There's only one kind of cookie. Like I know, like is yours the same way? No, mine. Oh, yours is the same way. Okay, so mine is just screwed up then. Mine is just so I have a top and then the bottom of the cookie. It's not even flip round way inside out the way it's. Ah, oh, they can't because it's. See, this is what you get for an inferior product. <laughs> okay, I'll never forgive you, dollar store. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Cheers. Oh, it smells horrible. Mm. I hate that smell. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat this. <laughs> no, eat it, eat it. I'm already in it. Eat it. <laughs> it's very sugary. Ew. There's a lot more pure sugar than an Oreo. I swallowed it. I'm done with it. I don't want to no. taste it. Again. No, I'm not ever taking another bite of that. <laughs> it's... Go buy Oreos. Come on. I'm trying to find the word. Don't be Kimmy Gibbler <laughs> and buy Oreos. Come on. That's disgusting. I'm trying to find the word. Where's water? I want water. Oh, gosh. That's gross. <laughs> Overly frosted chocolate breakfast cereal. Or something like that. It tastes like cereal, like cheap cereal. It just tastes gross. It, it's gross. My mouth tastes gross. I finished that on the first one. My tongue hates me. So, basically... I mean, they don't taste good. All of these things have a bad aftertaste. Um. You want some water? Or do you want to drink your No, because I have coffee and I'm trying to decide how to explain this. It's just not an Oreo. They try way too hard to push the chocolate flavor out of the cookie. 
That's another problem. Yeah, it um, doesn't taste chocolatey. It, it tastes like that. It tastes like uh, the animal crackers almost a little bit. And then just icing sugar and water blended together. Ew. And shoved in between. And it smells weird too. It does smell weird. It smells like, um, it smells like cheap frosting, kind of, and I know like, okay, that's what's in there, but no, it's not, that's not exactly what's in there. It's supposed to be like cream filling. It's not supposed to be frosting. And it smells like cheap frosting you get on, um, like little cupcakes for kids that they put the, like the Batman logos in the top of and stuff. I don't know, that's, that's, that's all we're eating of those cookies though. That's, okay. Oh yeah, this is probably one of the most knock-offy knock-offs, like the most cringeworthy knock-offs. It's a Snickers bar. It looks so much like a Snickers bar. It's and a knock-off Snickers bar. Even the fact that it says yeah. conquer your hunger. Conquer your hunger. Snickers is... wait a minute. This literally says mm -hmm. conquer your hunger. Titan. And they went so far as to do two bars. Snickers also has a version with two bars That's exactly true. in it. And the fact that it looks so much like a Snickers bar in the actual bar. Mm -hmm. That is such a Snickers bar knockoff. I don't know why I know so much about the Snickers Snick bar. But either way, we're gonna try yeah. this. I can't guarantee- Satisfies your hunger. I think, I think that's what it was. Satisfies your hunger. By the time this goes into post, I'll have it up on the screen. I think it's satisfy your hunger or something like that. So, here we okay. go. We're gonna open this. Oh, it's got two bars in it. Do we want to even bother? Do you, we oh, we might as well. What are we gonna do with the extra bar? Yeah, sure. It kind of looks like a... It kind of looks like a Snickers. Yeah, sort of. I mean, it's such a knockoff. Of course it does. It doesn't smell like the Snickers, though. No, it, it smells, smells dusty. Yeah. <laughs> it smells dusty. But I think, like, I'm expecting a little bit, but I'm going into this with an open mind. But, like, the fake Kit Kat, I have a feeling it's gonna be really waxy because it already looks and feels waxy. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 That's gross. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. I'm done with that. I know I don't want to swallow. The consistency is better than I expected. Because I expected it to be really sticky. I wanted it to be creamy like a Snickers. The caramel is not even caramelly. The that little not But it's not stuff. hard. No, but it's also doesn't even taste like a Snickers. It doesn't taste like a Snickers. If you want a Snickers, again, people, if you want a Snickers bar, go get a Snickers bar. Chocolate bars are not that expensive. It tastes like rubber smells. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does. It tastes it's gross. like rubber smells. Okay, get that out of my sight. <laughs> go. A chocolate bar is like a luxury item, kind of, within reason. I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's like, if you're gonna buy it, you should just I mean, kind of buy it. Sure, there are chocolate bars, like, from Purdy's and whatnot that are, like, really through the roof expensive. It's gross. But then, like, but chocolate bars in the grocery store, they're often not, like, they're often about, like, 99 cents. Mm. You go to Safeway, they're literally like usually 99 cents for and a regular for like a regular chocolate bar, just like the ones we've been showing. We've been testing uh, in Canada. A caramel of average size like that is still a dollar at Safeway. So literally, so you literally save about 11 cents, I think, on average with the dollar store knockoffs. But I mean, like seriously though, for the taste, is mm -hmm. it worth it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Totally not worth the base on taste alone. No, just not. So I don't think we're done yet. I think we got one more product. Yep, it's the last one, and I've been saving this one because Paul is a fan of Ferrero Rocher, and these are total knockoff of Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, you can even they are see 
What are they? They're hazelnut cream balls. Yeah. Okay. Hazelnut, hazelnut cream balls. Ball. Mystique hazelnut cream balls. So let's yeah. try this. This is the Ferrero Rocher like knockoff. Oh, why not? Keep away from direct sunlight. That's good. It's <laughs> chocolate. Of course. Maybe because it's got wax in it. Yeah, right. But he's not on a fancy schmancy tray. Schmancy. To try to make them look better. Yeah. But whether or not they taste better. Oh, that's good. It's only got three grams of sugar. That's kind of impressive. Oh, but, but it is on the ball. But see, Ferrero usually comes with like a wrapper. Yeah. And the packaging looks basically like um oh. Okay. The packaging looks similar. Sort of, but these aren't nuts, I don't think. These aren't nuts. It's, it's a way puff, Ferrero is. It's puff rice. Ferrero is a nut. Like, has nuts on it. Crushed hazelnuts. They're I very specific. So, yeah. Then I think there's a layer of the rice inside, but I don't think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Well, cheers. I'll buy you Ferrero after this to cleanse your palate. Okay. <laughs> Look how thick it is to get to the center. Mm -hmm. My, mm -hmm. I can't even get, I didn't even get any of the chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. And that's just gross, so I don't really mm -hmm. feel like eating it. I don't like that. I felt like I was eating a candle. All the chocolate has the same <laughs> waxy. Like, waxiness to it, but it gets worse. I swear you got each one of these is worse. Literally, though, a pack of three like this for Ferrero is usually only about a buck twenty. Whether you go to like a London Drugs or Shoppers Drug Mart or even in Safeway, I've seen them. Three pack like this, only a buck twenty. Yeah. There's so many. Why bad would you buy this? There's so many things bad about that. It just goes in waves. Yeah. At first, it tasted like uncooked rice, and then it tasted like wax and then it tastes mm -hmm. like waxy chocolate and then it just tastes like wax and uncooked rice I don't even know drink your coffee that, no I'm drinking my coffee that was probably like one of the worst ones I gotta say that was, that was probably one of the worst ones I agree um I I thought the Oreos were gonna be the worst the Oreos I thought the Oreos were gonna be the worst that was probably the worst thing we ate today easily that was probably the worst thing we ate today no stay away from Bella Strip candy I mean Candy? Really? Seriously. Except no imitations. Okay, well, yeah. that's about it for us. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below uh, to keep seeing more videos like this yeah. and so that you get notified as soon as they come out. Also, um, make sure you follow us on Instagram. That's Steph and Paul Pisa. Yeah. Got on the first try today. Um, <laughs> on Instagram, Stephanie manages that. She always keeps it crack laden. And I manage the Twitter page, and you can find us at SNP Do Stuff. That's it, just at SNP Do Stuff. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So make sure you hit that like button to see more videos like this. And I hope we see. Oh, and also, I should tell you that more videos like this come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. That's something else you should probably know. And I'm working with an outro coach. So until next time, bye! See you later. My tongue hates me.